Hello and welcome to Gunneria. Today we'll be talking about the Beretta 92FS, a firearm that is loved throughout the world by military and police alike because of its simplicity in maintenance, use, breakdown, also it's accurate as can be. The 92FS, this one happens to be stainless steel, um, as a fixed barrel, it has an the, the classic Beretta open slide, which reduces chance of, of a jam or stove piping. It has a 15 round capacity magazine, so the police officer would have high capacity with a military person, and it is so accurate. You can hit a target with a little practice at 100 yards with this gun. That's how good it is. Now, let me show you how to break it down and take it apart. The first thing we'll practice before I field strip this gun is gun safety. Remove the magazine and check the gun to make sure it's empty. Now, on the FS-92, there's this button on this side and the other side is this little dial with a handle on it. So we're going to push in that button and we're going to push that little dial down which totally releases the slide. So here is the slide. We're going to remove the spring by just lifting it up and the spring guide. And then we can just slide out the barrel. Your 92 FS is now field stripped. So let's clean this. So we're going to take our cleaner, which I told you about, and I'm going to put some, a little bit, on a little piece of fabric. I'm going to wipe down the entire outside of the firing mechanism, the outer barrel, okay, the firing pin. I'm sorry, that's not the firing pin. <laughs> and we're going to slide this right through the barrel to get a clean edge. You can see this gun is actually clean. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Otherwise, I would be being a little more vigorous with it. The outside of this gun, because of uh, it's sitting around, has picked up some dirt. So we're going to, and it's never had this preparation on it before, of this strike hold. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to clean up all these little parts. Clean this all up in here. I'll pull back the hammer, clean that back, release the hammer, and hold it so it doesn't fly forward on its own. Thing, doing things like that can hurt and damage a, a I've got these little wooden sticks with a point on it. And they work very well to get into all the little crevices, push the fabric in there. And I got those, I believe these were, I picked these up at a uh, art supply store, a little um, store like that. It's real good for getting into all those like, little sp spaces and places. I'm going to go down into here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to wipe the trigger. Get all the old grease off of it, because this gun, like I said, never had this done to it. I just brought this in to the shop. It's a used piece, but it's been maintained well, as you can see. And I'm going to use this to just get around the edges. This is a little old oil in there. Oops, my little point just broke. Made me a new point. Okay. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to clean off the spring and sp spring rod, guide rod. Clean that off, put them back together again. I'm going to take this and I'm going to wipe this down because this is, even though it's stainless steel and it's resistant to rust, it is not rust proof, which there are a lot of people out there who have found that out the hard way. That's the safety. We'll go over that later. I'm going to get in here and just 
do that a little bit. I'm going to take this with my little stick. Clean that up. Same thing on the other side. What I'm actually doing in there is I'm cleaning I'm cleaning the groove that your slide, the tracks that your slide goes on. Okay, so I want to get all of that nice and clean. I'm going to spray a touch of this just back in there. That's where the safety device is. So there's some lubricant in there. Wipe off the excess. You can see any, it had a couple little blemishes, but I think you can see it's all cleaned up. Okay, now that the gun is cleaned and lubricated, we're going to put it back together again. And basically we're just going to do everything we did in reverse. So we drop this in just like that. We take the slide and, and slide spring, slide rod. And we just slip this through and lay it back in there. You see that? Push it. Guide it out the front hole. And then lay it back right on here. Then it's just a matter of making sure your button is in the down position. And you slide this on and slip that little button back up. And there you have it. In the fire position, it's double action, so you can cock it. You put your safety on, and it decocks it. That's another reason they like this, because they're walking around with a gun, a pistol, that is not cocked and locked. It looks as though it's at rest. But taking the safety off, you're ready to go full double, double action, and after that, it's single action. FS-92. Beretta. Wonderful weapon, great for self-defense, great for target shooting. Well, thank you so much for joining me on another adventure into firearms at Gunneria. This is Alan at Alan's Firearms, saying goodbye.